For this video, we will be going over the fundamentals of the flow blocks found in the orange tab. The first block we will cover is a weight block. The purpose of this block is to pause your robot for a selected amount of time or until a sensor is activated. The next block is a start block, which can be used to play your programs. It is usually only used if you accidentally delete the one that is already there, or if you are running multiple separate codes in the same program tab. Next is the loop block. This is used to repeat programs or make a program run continuously until a sensor is activated. In this example, the program of driving forward and then turning left will play unlimited or continuously within this loop. You can also use a loop until a sensor is triggered. For example, you can drive forward until the touch sensor is pressed. The next block is the switch block. This allows the robot to perform the programming if something does happen or if something else does not happen. As you can see in this example, if the touch sensor is activated, then the robot will drive forward at 100 speed. Whereas if it is not activated, then the robot will drive backwards at 100 speed. Next, for more advanced programming, is the loop interrupt block, which lets you interrupt a loop immediately. This can be helpful for long programs within a loop. For example, this program will drive forward and backwards in the loop unlimited or continuously until the touch sensor is activated. And that's it! There's your introduction to the flow block tab. Next video will be all about touch sensors. Good luck programming!